We've done a lot of work trying to stimulate the brain's own uh, stem cells uh, for repair after brain injury, stroke, and other disorders, um, but uh, I think that's been such a challenge that we're going to need to also uh, do transplantation, and embryonic stem cells are the best source to make new neurons for transplantation and cure these uh, devastating neurological disorders. Well, I'm a neurologist and uh, see a lot of uh, patients with epilepsy and stroke and Parkinson's disease and other neurological conditions. And in the lab, I focus on studying neural stem cells to try to understand uh, how we can use neural stem cells that are already in the brain or ones that we transplant into the brain for uh, brain repair to ameliorate some of these terrible neurological diseases. We study neural stem cells uh, from both uh, embryonic life and adult life. So uh, a neural stem cell is a cell that can give rise to all kinds of nervous tissue, uh, but it changes over the lifespan. And uh, there remain neural stem cells in the mature brain in adults, uh, but they have a limited capacity to replace uh, other nerve cells. So we study them in stroke, and we find that they are able to move to injury, but they don't do a good job at surviving and rewiring into the networks. And so we're uh, moving uh, toward using embryonic stem cells to try to uh, expand the types of nerve cells we can make and see if we can make ones that uh, integrate better if we transplant them into the brain after injury. Currently, we're using embryonic stem cells from the presidential approved lines. And um, we're trying to make different types of nerve cells and transplant them into a model of stroke in uh, rat. So the stroke model uh, gives an injury in one part of the brain, and the idea is to uh, tra transplant the cells and see if they can make new nerve cells that move to the injury and rewire. And that's one area we're studying. In the future, we'd also like to study uh, stem cells in epilepsy because you can make uh, stem cells into nerve cells that uh, are inhibitory, and that means they suppress the overactivity that you get with seizures. And uh, there's some interesting work with animal studies in that regard, and I think uh, a lot of different groups are, are moving toward embryonic stem cells uh, to make these types of inhibitory neurons. Probably the most work with uh, human embryonic stem cells has been with Parkinson's disease and trying to make the specific type of nerve cell uh, that makes dopamine the chemical that's lost uh, in patients with Parkinson's disease. And there's been a lot of work and a lot of uh, encouraging progress making these dopamine nerve cells uh, from human embryonic stem cells and transplanting them into animal models of Parkinson's disease where they seem to survive and uh, integrate into the uh, pre-existing circuitry of the brain. Not only my own patients, but I get emails and phone calls from patients all over the country uh, who have, uh, or families who have loved ones that um, have had uh, severe brain insults um, from cardiac arrest or from trauma who uh, are looking for uh, stem cell treatments. And, um, you know, it makes you want to, you know, work as hard as you can and move as fast as you can. Uh, it's a little scary that other countries, uh, without the scientific proof, are offering stem cell treatments for a lot of money that people are, uh, uh, you know, desperate and uh, trying, uh, which is concerning for safety. Um, but uh, there's a lot of need out there because we, we don't have treatments to repair the brain right now.